Well, hello and welcome back, my friends, to JTMJ Crafts. Today we are getting into a whipping chat. If you are new here and you have not subscribed, feel free to hit that like, comment, and subscribe to let you know, let me know that you're watching. You know, and I give you a comment back if you're returning. You already know where your seats are at. I appreciate your return with me today. So today, we actually have tag questions. My bestie over at My Mindful Diamond Painting, she got tagged by somebody else, and she tagged me in her whip and chat, and I was like, well, hell yeah, it gives me something to talk about. So today, we're working on this. I got a couple of things to show you. Right before we get into the diamond painting goody stuff and the tag questions. Okay, so first off, I got a package recently from Jenny Rose Designs. She is one of our sponsors for this month's event. And oh my god, we tell you this tumbler is absolutely stunning it is it is absolutely stunning jenny rose you've outdone yourself this thing is absolutely gorgeous and then she sent me a little goodie bag with some uh let's see we got some hawaiian punch we have a couple other little things in here let me show you real fast real fast and we got uh orange spice tea we got tumbler um, instructions. We have a Jenny Rose business card. Nice, nice. I I print business cards all the time, so I they're those look nice. Um, and then this cute little keychain or little little thing you could possibly put like on a zipper or something to have like a little angle of dangle the wrangle of the dangle i don't know what i'm talking about here but these these are what i'm excited to see these when i seen them on my besties channel i was like oh my god these are stunning and look at oh my god they are absolutely stunning i am I'm loving these. My only thing is, this is a melted film adhesive painting. I'm not 100% sure if they will stick to this or get messed up sticking to this because it is different than pour glue. It is like, it's like a combination of pour glue and melted film adhesive or, uh, not melted film adhesive. Uh, pour glue and double sided adhesive. That's what mounted film adhesive is, kind of like a double of that. Um, and it's a little a little bit more finicky than other things. Wow. They stick right on there, come right off. Just beautiful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. We're going to put these bad boys on this painting. Ah, stop sticking. Oh yeah. And now you two cannot complain about the the F word being on the canvas. Because YouTube decided that they were gonna try to take my video down because it, my canvas had the F word on it. Now look at that! Look at that! That is so stylish! So stylish. And I'll, I'll, I'll do the rest of them off camera. We're, we're gonna get into the nitty gritty here with diamond painting and answering your guys' tag questions. Or not your guys', but the tag questions that I have. Jeez, I'm I'm like I'm a hot mess over here today. Okay. Don't don't mind me. I'm just a hot mess commodity over here. Uh so today we are using this stunning horse pin. Ah my hand's sticking. Um 
Diamond Horse Pen. It's a single place of horse pen. I got it from Baby Cakes, Monica, my sister from another mister, and I also have my stay up there. Stay up there. I have my pen that I call Vicky, which is named after my mom because I lost my mom to breast cancer awareness. Or not breast cancer awareness, but to breast cancer. So in her honor and breast cancer awareness month. I always bring out the pen and use it. So let's go. Boom. So this painting, I am have to single place it, which has not been my my jam. I'm telling you guys, it has not been my jam. I am not a single placer, but it has given me a new kind of kind of sort of a new a new love for diamond painting. Um, I really don't want to sit here and single place this whole bad mamma jamma, but it is what it is, and it's, it is what I have to do. Otherwise, this painting is going to be popping drills all over the place, and then I'm going to end up throw it in the trash, or take it outside and shoot it with a shotgun, or attach it to some tannerite, which is explosive, uh, an explosive device and uh, take it out to the woods someplace and shoot it with my my gun and blow it up. That's how aggravated I am with this painting. But, you know, it is what it is. I continue to do it because of the love of this cause, of this painting and this event and everything that it does for me mentally. It helps me very, very much. So I'm going to suffer through this to get this done because I don't want to give up on it. It's not a painting that I want to give up on. So, let's go. First question. Thank you, Bestie, for tagging me in this. First question. How many diamond paintings have you completed? Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, man. That is a tough question. I, I do not have all of the paintings that I have completed. I, I have probably close to roughly 75 paintings in my house, probably, and I've probably given away anywhere in the range of 50 to 70 more. Um, I always like to do diamond paintings for Christmas and birthdays if I can, if I know somebody is specifically looking for something, um, I do them for them. So, a, a, a lot of my paintings I have given to other people, so I don't have all of them. But I keep the ones that mean the most to me, and have the most meaning to me. So, yeah. Uh, but anyways, so, um, how many paintings have you completed? I'm gonna say uh, probably in the range of 150-ish. Um, it's been... Six years on YouTube this August, so I've been around for a while. Uh, also, diamond painting for six years because I started diamond painting when I started YouTube. Um, how many paintings do you have currently in your stash? You do not want to look over there. You will, your jaw will hit the floor like mine does, and then I have to pick it up and like, good God, what the fuck is my problem? Why do I have all these paintings? It, it is what it is. We're crafters, we're hoarders, when we find something we like, we buy it. Trust me, I know, I've been going through a whole process of Timu. Um, my bestie got me kind of hooked on special shape paintings, so now that's all I do is look for specials. Special, 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 special. That's all that's on my mind, specials. I, I absolutely love specials. I've completed uh, three, four, no, four four of them now and I, I absolutely love them. I cannot I cannot get enough specials. I wanna buy them all. That's 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 an addiction issue. It's a good addiction issue. It's not drugs, you know, but it's an addiction issue that I have to fight with. I have a pinky promise with my bestie that I will not buy anything else until we decide to break our until we decide that our no buy is up and that we can buy again. Um I did get a $30, uh, um, 
gift card this yesterday. Monday. No, Monday. Two days ago now. Uh, Monday. Um, from a customer, she brought it in, and she's like, uh, anybody shop at Timu? And, and my boss was like, no. And I was like, I do. And she's like, here, you can have it, sweetie. And then I started talking about diamond painting, and then that opened up a whole other world of a rabbit, a rabbit hole, talking to a stranger about diamond painting. And then my boss comes out and is like, yeah, Jeremy's got a YouTube channel. I'm like, will you shut up? We, I, I don't go around willy nilly mentioning that I have a YouTube channel. That's not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not like that. I'm not gonna go, like, I have became really cl good friends with some people over on Twitch. Um, I am streaming again on Twitch if you're interested. Um, under a different account. Um, I just, I left the other accounts behind and I was just done. I washed my hands of them. But, uh, but yeah, so I've met some really cool people over there, and I don't go willy-nilly telling those people that I have YouTube, but I'm doing YouTube, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing that. Like, they don't even know that I do Twitch until they go look at my Twitch channel, and then they're like, you do Twitch? I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I do Twitch. I, I'm, I'm not the type of person that goes around self-promoting myself. That is, uh, that's disrespectful to the streamer number one, and number two, it's fucking rude. I've had people come into my streams and they're like, oh, I do this and I do that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's the door. See you later. Sayonara. I don't really give a shit what you do. So anyways, I'm, I'm on a tangent over here. Uh, how many paintings do I have in my stash currently? Let's see. I have about a hundred diamond art clubs, and then I have probably close to maybe 80 from TSA, and then I have a wide variety of other paintings from other camp companies. Um, I have quite a few from Rose Profit Creations. I have quite a few more coming from Rose Profit Creations. Um, I have Enablers Outpost. I have... I, there's a lot. There's a lot. Let, let's just say my stash is probably including the box of small snacky stuff. There's probably close to 400 paintings in my stash. I, I, I can stop buying any time. I'm good. I'm good. But anyways, next question. When did you begin diamond painting? I began diamond painting August of... I don't remember what year. It was six years ago. Um, August. Uh, it was like the 20th or... Uh, Yeah, it was around the 20th of August, I had got my first painting, and I started diamond painting, and then I was doing a live where I was doing a face-to-face -face live, and somebody said, why don't you do a diamond painting live, and then boom, ever since then I've been diamond painting live. Uh, but, so, six years, August, so this coming August will be seven years. Good God, can you believe that? That is insane. And I've known my bestie over here on YouTube for the past five and a half, six years. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, if you could only purchase from one diamond painting company for the rest of your life, who would you purchase from and why? Oh, God! That's a hard, hard decision. Okay, let's, let's first off, let's share the Skittles. Let's Share the skittles with you guys because I got some over here. I'm snacking on myself, but that is hard. That is super hard. Number one, I I love DAC, so DAC is always going to be a, a higher higher up on the list. But I'm telling y'all, my my sister from another Mister Rose Profit Creation. She's probably 
one of the contenders up there. Um, if I had to pick, I don't think I could pick just one, to be honest with you. I would have to pick, like, two or possibly three. Um, I, I can't pick one, though. It would be a toss-up between Treasure Studios Art, Rose Profits, and TSA. I, I can't, I cannot choose can't choose just one. You realize how hard it is to just choose one diamond painting company? Come on, now! Anyways, I'm worked up. I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm okay, God fucking... Mm, slow down. Slow down. Okay, uh, when you are diamond painting, what is your go-to media consumption, audiobook, podcast, YouTube, etc.? Um... I'm gonna say probably number one would be Netflix and YouTube. Com combination of both of those. Um, if for some reason there's a video that I've seen that I want to watch on YouTube, I'll go watch that. But 90% of the time, I'm probably on Netflix um, watching Lucifer or. Outer Banks, good god, I'm a Pope for life, P for L, um, yeah, so, I do love a good audiobook, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a sucker for a good romance movie, um, um, love movie, whatever the, whatever the hell that, that genre is, like, love romance books and movies and stuff like that. I, I, I'm a sucker for that stuff because I guess I'm just like an old school romantic. I, uh, I, I'm just a sucker for that kind of stuff. So I, I, I love a good romantic book or uh, audio book or movie or anything of that sort. So anyways, we're going to move on. Woo! What is your favorite category of diamond paintings? Landscapes, fantasy, etc. I would have to say uh, animal. Number probably high up there, animal. Um, and then second would be like portraits of of people. Um, portraits like. Native American Indian portraits, um, yeah, that's literally all of the, every, everything that I do in here is either Native American Indian or some sort of an animal being a horse, a wolf, um, or a squirrel, I mean, or a bird, you got rebirth over here, um, and then, unless it's for a, an event, and then I'm always doing um, event paintings for different stuff. And this month here, this is a uh, DP paint for BCA, so I, I'm please, 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 please take responsibility into your own hands, and early detection saves lives, so please go get your tatas checked, save a rack, we all need... We all, we all need the rack saved, okay? So please, just, just go save a rack. If it's yours, if it's your friends, I mean, get anybody and everybody that you know to go, to go get scanned, get checked, get smushed. I'm on one tonight. I don't even know what the hell is from, but I'm on one. Okay, uh, so I think, that, I think I answered all of that pretty much. Um, what is the artist you have completed the most paintings from? Whew! I'd have to say JoJo's Art. JoJo's Art is one of my top favorite artists. Um, 
Right alongside JoJo would be Rose Prophet Creations, my sister from another mister down under. Um, I do have... I, I don't have a lot of hers completed. I have, I have one of hers completed, two of hers completed, sorry. Uh, and then I have like two more in the works. Um, and then I have like a dozen more to be done. So, yeah, uh, by the time it's all done and said, it'll be Rose Prophet, so it's a tie right now between Rose Prophet and JoJo's art, those are the top two artists, in my opinion, that I go towards whenever they have art that comes out, I, I'm a sucker, I, I always go and buy, I always go and look, and I'm always like, ooh, ah, Ooh. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, okay, time to save money. I don't know why this classical music just sounded good today. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see, I did that, diamond painting, what is your artist, I did that, what did you go to wax for diamond painting, I, <laughs> it's sad to say, I used to be a huge, 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 not your mama's mud lover, I still am, I still love my not your mama's mud from my sister Beth Minton, she, she makes, makes her own mud over there, and I love her mud, it's still, one of my top, top, top favorites, uh, but as of recently, all I use is my besties wax, or not my, oh my god, my besties putty, not wax, putty, 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 so yeah, sorry, I got wax and putty confused, so yeah, my bestie, my mindful diamond painting over on YouTube, she makes her own putty. I'll show you an example here, okay? And I'm telling you, it's all I use. Single placer, multi-placer, it's all I use. It works for everything. I have yet to find a diamond that the stuff will not pick up. It is that remarkable. I love it. I have actually three on order. Um, if you go on over to her channel right now, she is running a special of the month of October and November. She is open for business. And then she will shut her doors down to make sure she's got everything in line before she reopens up. She's doing a soft launch right now, so if you would like to check out somebody and get some quality, quality putty for yourself, head on over there. Tell her I sent you. You don't get a discount for knowing me, but uh, you can just tell her that you can probably her best you send her over to you. But anyways, let's see. What's my next number? No, you're not laying face down. Get out of there. Jeez, he wanted to lay face down. It, it wanted to be stubborn. Um, but -ba 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 -ba. what do you do with your finished diamond paintings? Do you hang them up or put them in a portfolio or otherwise? Uh, for the middle, I'd say 90% of the time, everything goes up on the wall with a thumbtack to hang it up to get it out of the way so I don't have to worry about rolling it up and sticking it back into a box and have a possibility of losing diamonds. Everything gets hung up on the wall until I get a, a frame for it or have my dad design and make frames for my paintings, which 
is still supposed to be happening sometime or another, but, you know, life, or, you, you get busy. It, it happens. But right now, mine just get hung up on the wall until I can find a frame for them to fit into or custom make a frame. Um, and then my small, small specials. Let me get a drink real fast. Get a drink, 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 drink. It's a Coke. It's a Coke cup, but it, it's sure the fucking Coke in there. Right? Sorry, if you're a Coke fan, I still love you, but I think Coke is disgusting. I don't know what it is. It just, it makes me want to like, I don't know, it, it puts me into like a a giant burping effect and I just sit there and just belch for like an hour if I drink coke. So that's the reason I don't like coke and I don't drink it is because it just it just oh gives me the burps. Uh let me see where are we at where are we at where are we at where are we at so Do you like to open your paintings right away or keep them sealed up until you work on them? Being a content creator, I always like to make sure I get an unboxing done right after the painting gets here, right after it's delivered. That way I can go through and make sure everything is in there from A to B. And if there is something missing, then I can go and contact the supplier the shop I bought from or whatever have you and that way they know and they can get it fixed and get it sent on the way and that way I'm because if if you just take it and you, you get your box in and you just stick it on your shelf and then what what happens if you want to go work on it and then six six months later you go to work on it and then you realize that there's no diamonds in there then you're SOL depending on what company you buy from. What are you doing? That was Trapper. He's over here sleeping, making like, like weird noises with his mouth, like he's choking or something. Are you okay? I guess so. He just rolled, rolled his head back over and was like, I'm going back to bed. So yeah. Being a content creator, I always want to make sure I open up my paintings as soon as I get them. And that way, there's if there's anything missing, I can have it corrected and, and taken care of and sent back. Uh... What is your number one unicorn kit? That you currently do not own or hope to own one day. Ooh! Ay, 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 There's a couple. I have more than one unicorn, okay? There's one with Rose Prophet Creations that is a must-have. It's an Indian chick with a wolf. It's a must-have. It's been on my top tier to buy. I just haven't had the money to buy. Um, there is a few JoJo's Arts that I still do not have in my stash. And y'all know me and JoJo's Arts. I have probably close to, like three quarters of his paintings I'm still missing a couple um, and it saddens me because I think one or two of the ones that I don't have 
are no longer available anymore, so it, it really saddens me to think that I missed out on a JoJo. So, oh well, maybe one day I'll find it and buy it and, and have it in my collection. Um, what is the kit in your stash that you're most looking forward to work on? Oh, boy. That's hard. Because there's some that call my name that I want to work on, but they're so freaking huge, and they're squares. I don't want to work on them. I almost think about sending them to my bestie and having my bestie do them for me. But... There's a handful of paintings that I want to do that are calling my name so it's hard to just pick one to work on next one's a gigantic horse painting from DAC I believe it's a square the other ones are mystical diamond art and then there is a Emma Casey that I've had in my stash for quite a while and it is actually it's been calling my name for a little while now and I may just pull it out and work on it because it is absolutely stunning it's a it's a dream catcher and it's absolutely gorgeous and that one is probably the top one that I would probably do I have not done any of Emma Casey's paintings. I own two of them. Alright, let's see. What else we got here? Do you prefer confetti or color blocking or a mixture of both? Confetti can get the hell off of my canvas. I hate color blocking. But... A nice mixture of both, I am 100% happy. But color blocking like this, no. No, 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 no. But this painting means a lot to me, and it has speaks volumes. It's got my favorite word on there, and it's got my, my, the word I hate the most on there. So this this painting speaks a lot to me. Um, so I have to deal with the confetti or the color blocking on this painting, but that's fine. I can deal with this because it's not like it's a very big painting. It's a thirty by forty, and. I should be done in a few days if I just keep my head down and just work through it. Next question. Uh, so yeah, I... Uh, how do you pick which piece you want to work on next? That's the question. Uh, if, if I'm not feeling one canvas and I'm feeling another, what I'll do half the time is I'll pick three and I'll, I'll ask my Patreons 
what painting do you feel that I should work on next? And then I'll ask my subscribers. And then sometimes I'll even ask my bestie, go like, hey, what should I do next? Knowing her, she's gonna say, work on one of those whips. And it's not fun to work on one of those whips. I wanna start a new painting. I don't know why I have, I, I love starting new paintings. That's like my jam. I love starting a new painting. I could start a painting and work on it for a section and put it away and be happy. But I gotta stop that because I gotta try to start working and paintings all the way through and not one halfway and calling it done. Um, so yeah, that's a combination of either asking my subscribers to help out or asking my bestie to help out or my Patreons. Next question. What is your favorite season of the ho slash holiday to diamond paint? Um, that's hard because I love Christmas in real life. I love Christmas. But I usually get all depressed around Christmas time because my family's gone, my mom's gone, other people around are gone, and I, I find myself home. home by myself a lot, so, diamond painting, it's hard to say, because, recently, I want to do Christmassy stuff, and I want to do Halloweeny stuff, but most of the time, I don't have the drive to do it. So, I, I, that's a hard one. I don't know. I like to diamond paint all season long, um, and it's just whatever comes to mind, whatever floats my boat. I don't want to do Christ just Christmas stuff and Christmas time. I do other things. I, I, just, I, I don't really stick, to, I just don't really do like holiday things. Um, let's see, what's next? <laughs> do you work on one kid at a time or have multiple whips at once? multiple freaking whips let's go i have i think nine right now don't don't tell my bestie no actually i take that back i have eight because i completed one and it's hard to call a special a whip because like i started one day and i finished it same day, so it's hard to call it a whip. Anyway, so let's see. Do you like natural 
dark pieces or colorful pieces. Around this time of year, when we're going into the winter, I definitely like some colorful choices to have, diamond painting wise, because I do have seasonal depression and I always get depressed around this time of the year because it gets dark out at 5 o'clock and there's not much going on and if I'm working on a dark painting when it's dark outside and all it is is dark 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 all the time I can't do it I like dark art paintings I just I can't work on dark stuff along with I gotta have in the winter time when it's going into that time of the year where I get all depressed feeling I, I, I love me some nice bright flashy colors alright next uh, let's see Larger snack size. I I love me a nice big large painting, but at the same time, for this purpose of an event, I'm trying to stick to sm more smaller snacky size stuff because it's it's easier to get done in a month than starting a big ass giant ass painting like a 60 by 80 and getting like five or six sections done in it and then next thing you know the event's over and then you're just you're just stuck with this giant ass painting that really doesn't have no freaking meaning to you and you're just like why did I start this? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? Like it's a whole thing. Okay, next question. Um, pin. There's no way in freaking hell I'm placing diamonds with with tweezers. I almost said pliers. With tweezers. There's no way freaking in hell that I'm going to sit here and place diamonds with tweezers. You got to be on crackhead mode to be doing that. I'm sorry anybody out there that does place diamonds with tweezers. That's like... That's craziness to me. Like, I don't have the patience to sit there and place anything without a pin. And to tell you the truth, this single placing kills me because I'm a multi-placer through and through. I will multi-place the shit out of a canvas. I'll use a 4-placer, a 6-placer, a 10-placer, a 15-placer, and uh, if I have to, I will sit there and put one diamond down at a time, and until the, all the diamonds are gone off the placer, I'm, I'm that type of a multi-placing diamond painter. Like, I, I can't deal with this single placing bit. It's driving me nuts. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing it getting it done. I'm dealing with it. Do I want to deal with it? Not really, but like I said earlier, the painting, the cause, and plus it's for my mama. So anyways, uh, are you a round or a square connoisseur? Um, I love me some round diamond paintings because, one, I don't have to worry about the placement of them. I can work them fast. I can multi-place the shit out of them. Squares? I'm meticulous with my squares, so I have to, and, and unless it's poor glue, like this is mounted film adhesive, so I cannot multi-place this, and that's why I'm bitching a lot, because I cannot multi-place it, and it's driving me nuts. If this was poured glue, you betcha I'd be over here multi-placing the shit out of this painting, and not even caring. Uh, but I like a mixture of both round and square. As long as the squares are good. If the squares are shit, 
no thank you. I will not be buying from your company. What is your favorite method for placing AB drills? A pin. Um, what is your preferred method of sectioning off a canvas? My preferred method is washi tape. I am a washi tape lover. I have tons of washi tape. I love washi taping off canvas. But these right here, these bad boys right here, I'm telling you what, these right here, these are, these are the thickest, smoothest, sexiest, I'm telling you, sexiest, freaking cut. Oh, what, 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 what am I thinking of here? Brain work. Oh my god. Sectioning off. There we go. That was, uh, I was talking about sectioning off. Phew. Yeah. Uh. Sectioning off and using these. Do do dads. I don't even know what the hell they're called. Like my brain is not clicking right now. So if you know what these are called, put them in the comments. My brain's not not functioning. I worked nine nine and a half hours today. It is officially eight p.m. at night. My brain is not functioning right now. Yeah, my brain is not clicking. Don't, don't, don't worry. It'll, it'll come back around once I get some sleep. So, my preferred method is sectioning off of washi tape, but if not, I will re use release papers. There you go. I had to say it, and I knew, I knew once I said it, it would come to my mind. Release papers. There you go. These are sexy as hell, release papers, okay? So go check out Jenny Rose Designs. And there is a discount code in the DP Pink for BCA group for the event. You can get some, some, some discount. Okay. Do you have other crafts or hobbies besides diamond painting? Shoo! Do I even have to answer that question? Like, really, do I even have to answer that question? Y'all know me. Y'all know me. Why do you think my channel name is JTMJ crafts because I'm a crafty mofo. Uh, so that's a good a good point to to go over real fast. So somebody asked me the other day, what does JTMJ crafts stand for? You want to know? It stands for Jeremy. It stands for Trapper, and it stands for Mary Jane. Me, my dog, and my cat. JTMJ Crafts. Jeremy Trapper Mary Jane. Crafts. So, do I craft? Yes. I diamond paint. Of course I diamond paint. I... Woodburn. Woodburn. I native bead. I draw on an iPad with Procreate, like draw, draw. I, I color from time to time. Um, what am I missing here? I love making friendship bracelets. It's not really like a big craft, but it is kind of a craft. Um, I really can't think of anything else. Anybody think of anything else that I had to do? Tell me in the comments, please. My, like I said, my brain is not clicking. It's like it's firing on all cylinders right now, but it's not. It's not clicking over. It's not. It's not remembering things. Okay. Um. What is your preferred method for sectioning off canvases? Read that. The other hobbies and diamond paintings. Read that. Let's see.
Alright. Sorry. I got, I got sidetracked. <laughs> Telling you my brain is still on la 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 lamp. Who do you tag? Okay, so I don't know exactly who started this tag and who all has already been tagged in this, but I'm going to tag trying to find her channel name. Um, Diane's Diamond Painting Journey. There's one. I like, I, I always watch Diane's videos. Um, oh shit. I didn't mean to click on it. Um, and then... Um, I am I am drawing blanks with channel names. I should have wrote these down when I had the opportunity to write these down. Um, I would recommend my bestie, but I can't because she tagged me in this. Let's do a quick search real fast and see who else I see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do uh, Principal Painter. I don't, is she still making content? I haven't watched Principal Painter forever. I have to go see if she's making content. Um, and let's go. Uh, Go GB Maltese. There we go. There's three. Okay, so that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for this. Oh, uh, uh, bonus question Do you still have it? Show your first diamond painting ever completed? Yes, I still have it. It may be a little hard to show because I got a a bunch of stuff going on over here at the moment. So let's see if I can bring you guys over. I got a TV right here because I'm playing a game at the moment. But hold on, hold on, hold on. the first painting that I ever bought and the first painting that I ever completed it is Diamond Art Club Wolf Dreamcatcher I do have the second edition to this maybe one day I will pull it out and work it up the second edition to this has these here all of these and these big orange clumps here that are big huge orange ball like big huge orange goldish colored balls that like stick out off the canvas one of these days I will do that so stay tuned but for now that's it thank you guys for coming back once again I really appreciate each and every one of you have peace have love 
and always remember to have respect for all, and I hope you guys all have a fantastical day. Love ya. Bye.